Hi guys, welcome to Toy Chat. This is our last video for the year, and it is Sang. And Max. And today we have another doll by the um, by Integrity Toys, and this is part of their new face collection for 2017. And this is Sup's collection called Heirloom Collection, and this is Erin Salston. I think that's how you pronounce it. But she is brand new, she just came out, and we are lucky enough to get her. Um, yeah, if you'd like to check out our previous reviews, uh, so quick preface, I'm, I'm super sick <laughs> right now, so I apologize in advance for my sick voice, but um, if you'd like to check out our previous reviews of Integrity Dolls, want to learn more um, what they're all about, how you can order your own, generally if they're already out, you may or may not be able to order them anymore, but for details on that, check the links in the description. Um, we've reviewed a couple other Integrity Dolls at this yeah, point. Yeah, we actually even uh, reviewed another um, doll from the same line, and we, um, it was Imogen Lennox. So, same packaging as before, they have a very standardized packaging for this line. It's completely black box with um, the logo, new face on it. It's what's inside that matters. Yes. So yeah. we're gonna go ahead and um, open this box up and show you the doll. So here is Erin in her packaging. And wow, actually, her dress is really nice, actually. So sparkly. Yeah, I'm surprised how sparkly it is in person. I don't know if you can really get that vibe from just like the promo pictures. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so this is pretty standard for an Integrity toy. Yeah, and per usual, everything's packaged inside. There's a little compartment for her additional accessories. I assume she comes with um, She comes with a few things, hands, yeah. Hands. yeah. Um, and yeah, what's nice about Integrity dolls, as always, is, you know, it's possible to strap them, strap them back in the box, make it look like they were never, you know, taken out of the box. Mm -hmm. They are a bit of pain to take out though, but um, we're gonna go ahead and do that and come back and show you an up close and personal look at Erin. All right, so here's Erin um, at a box and here's the up close shot of her face. She is sporting some very um, smoky eyeshadow. They are a kind of a tan, almost like a mahogany color is that a good term mahogany mm -hmm. yeah a mahogany yeah. color um, eyeshadow and if it's like kind of like a tan nude blush um and yeah on her lips she has um it's a really nice lip color it's kind of like a um i don't know if i want to say burgundy it's kind of like a pinkish i do want to say yeah it's kind of like a burgundy lip um, and she has hair that is a lovely color. It's like an, an auburn, you know, she's a brunette, um, and she has, uh, kind it's of like... It's kind of like side swept. Yeah, it's kind of a hot mess right now. It looks like it needs a wash. Yeah, these dolls are kind of packaged in a way that, um, the hair are in like, you know, fishnet and, uh, protected, yeah. or hairnet. Um, but yeah, it's definitely a nice color. Um, one tone. I imagine it'll look really nice Black. after a, after a wash. Yeah, definitely. Uh, and the earrings she has on, um, you know, again, um, you know, all Integrity dolls, they come with like these little, you know, compartments that you slide out and the accessories come separately. You have to put them in yourself. Um, and one of the accessories she comes with is this pair of dangly earrings. Mm -hmm. um, that have a lot of detail. Yeah, actually. at the very like, top where, um, you know, it's like the part that's in her ear has a little um, um, gem, like it looks like a diamond, obviously it's not a real diamond, but it's very uh, um, shiny and has these two long um, gold chain that are dangling down with these uh, black beads that are attached to it. Next up is her outfit. And she is wearing a nice uh, white jacket that is um, kind of puffy. It almost has um, a little bit of like a pleather look to it. Mm -hmm. um, it yeah, it's just like a creamy white color with um, a black zipper, 
Um, and it has open arms, mm -hmm. which is really cool. There's like little openings or slits on either shoulder and then uh, down the forearm as well, uh, which is really cute. It's very fashionable. It reminds me of like a, like a motorcycle jacket. Yeah, that's what's funny. There's something like sporty a little bit about the, the top, um, especially if you look on the side, there's like um, that lining of the, um, you know, the kind of the fabric change where the pleather kind of goes into um, almost what, you know, looks more like a cotton material, um, which again, it gives me a very sporty vibe, but, um, you know, it's much more fashionable with, you know, the slits and the cut. Um, and it's cut in a way where you could kind of make it a little bit, you know, midriff bearing if you want to. Um, and even though this is a jacket, she's not wearing anything else underneath. No, yeah. So, yeah. No shirt, nothing. Um, be too bulky. But yeah, I love these little slit sets on the shoulders. And it also almost like gives off kind of like a shoulder pad look. Yeah, it's very cute. So she's wearing this really pretty um, skirt. That's kind of hard to tell, like on camera, because um, like underneath right here, so it's one, two layers. First layer is kind of like this, um, like a tool, tool kind of, yeah, yeah some netting. And underneath is this really nice shimmery. Um, it's like a glitzy, glittering forest green uh, yeah. skirt. Um, it's like on the camera, it's very like it looks very dark, but it's actually in person, it's very like um, like a bright green. I don't know why the camera is kind of showing up kind of weird, but yeah, it's very bright. It's very pretty. It's kind of, yeah, like a shocking green. It's a really nice contrast to like the kind of the classiness of the white and black on her. Uh, I love the dress. The I think the dress is a selling point for sure to me. Erin's um, also wearing these uh, fish netting. Fish nets. Yeah, fit nets, yeah. Um, and for her shoes, it kind of carries the same motif as her um, fish nets. Um, it has kind of like that cross stitching on here. She has it's the same material to be honest with you. They kind of sewn on some of that um, netting style on there. And there are these white like ankle boots. I love the shoes, um, and you know what's really funny? We actually talked about how the fact that they use those kind of larger, wider ribbons for the laces, it makes them a lot easier to tie, which I do appreciate, but I don't know if I like the look of those like big, loose, like kind of ribbon laces on the shoe. Um, I don't know, it's, it's just, it's a little bit uh, kind of tacky and loud to me. Um, I'm not sure if they incorporated that purely because, you know, uh, the struggle was just getting too real to tie, mm. you know, integrity I, I don't think so. I think it's a, it's a creative choice. I think because her, um, her shoes has kind of like that really thin, like, uh, um, knitting that's on there. If you have like kind of normal laces, they kind of like blend in together. Um, but I, I think, I think what you're going for is the fact that it's kind of like, um, like when I think of ribbons, I think of kind of like more like cutesy or like kiddish um, like themes. And she's definitely really like high fashion. So maybe that's a little too much of a contrast. Um, but I think they're all right. They're, they do cover the shoe a little too much per se. I think maybe it's harder to see the shoes because yeah, they are so large. Love the fishnets though. Yeah. The fishnet stockings are a nice touch. The last of um, Aaron's um, accessories are these two rings. One of them is this really cool black, um, black and gold spider. I love it so much. And in the center of it is this nice little gem. So pretty. Definitely gives her a nice little splash of like thematically gaudy, which I, I appreciate that little touch though. It's a nice little like loud accessory. Um, that I think gives her a little bit more of a devilish vibe, you know, but I like it a lot, it's really cool. For sure. And then her other ring is kind of more basic, it's kind of like this um, tube-like gold ring. Um, yeah, it's definitely pales in comparison with other ones, but I think having two like giant like spider rings or mm -hmm. loud rings are too much, I think this is a nice touch as well. 
So another really cute little accessory Erin comes with is a bag. Um, it looks quite a bit like a high-end, you know, like luggage bag. Um, it has a really cute, you know, little simple design on it and is lined with black pleather um, and gold encasements on each end. And there's even, you know, like a little faux hook lock on the edge there. And it does actually open up, which is really cool. So if you want, you can put things inside of it. Um, what I really appreciate about this is the texture. Um, it has almost like a flocked texture to it, so it makes the bag itself feel more like cloth. Um, you know, it's kind of like a fuzzy bag almost. Um, but yeah, you know, the accessories. You can keep our spare hands in it if you want. <laughs> you can, yes, you know. If, is the final thing that comes, you know, inside her accessory compartment is this, um, this change of hands. Um, and these are slightly more, um, you know, uh, there's a little bit more movement going on. A little more dainty. A little daintier, yeah. So if you want to show her as, you know, holding something or like gently touching something, this would be a nice hand swap for that. All right, so. That was an overview of Erin and final thoughts. I think she's very pretty. I think um, some of like the promo images doesn't really do her justice. Um, her jacket is like I think was like the weirdest part for me. Like I wasn't really sure about her jacket. Um, it looked like really poofy, but in person it's really nice. Yeah, I kind of I, I always thought she came with like a shirt underneath because it's like it's a jacket to me. But I guess you can wear it as a shirt as well. Um, she has a very lovely face. The, the skin tone is really nice. You don't really see too much of like a darker skin tone sometimes for these dolls. Uh, I'm sure there are. I'm sure there's a lot, but I think it's nice to see a like a uh, Latino kind of uh, skin tone. I do think she has a very like sleek look to her. I think that's what they're going for. At 140, like along with all the other dolls in this line, yeah, she's a little pricey, but. $140 you know, is the price point. Yeah, so, um, yeah, so I mean, it's kind of, if you have the money and you like her, hopefully you can get her. Um, I think she's sold out, pretty sure. Maybe you can find her for an inflated price on eBay, but it's definitely um, a nice doll to have. I was, I was kind of talked into getting this doll, um, you know, by saying he kind of showed me this wave and, um, I really like her, I think she's very pretty. You know, yeah, again, at a $140 price point, um, you do kind of have to prioritize, you know, which ones you actually want, unless, you know, you've got a lot of money to burn and are just really into collecting the whole wave, that kind of thing. Of what I've seen of this wave, I think Erin is probably my favorite one. You know, a lot of them have other, I think they're they're kind of different thematically, you know, for me, yeah, like Singh said, um, you know, this Erin is a little bit, uh, she has definitely a sleek vibe to her, um, but I just really love that pop of vibrant green on her, um, and, you know, one thing I have to say about a lot of Integrity dolls is sometimes it's really hard to appreciate them in full until you actually see what comes in their accessory compartments. Um, you know, and like the additional clothing options and, you know, the rings and jewelry and bags. Um, it adds so much to the doll and I think can really change your opinion on the whole look. Um, because there were actually some Integrity dolls, you know, where we went to this local, you know, our local doll shop and if you just kind of glance at them in box without seeing everything they come with, you could kind of write it off as like, eh, you know. This, this look is kind of bland, it's not really doing it for me, but um, definitely take a closer look at everything they come with because there might be more to have fun with and experiment with than you might imagine. So I would recommend Erin um, if you're okay with the price point and if you are a fan of, um, you know, classy, elegant, high fashion dolls with a nice splash of color on them. And you know, as with pretty much all Integrity dolls, um, she has several points of articulation. You can put her in all sorts of poses. And she comes with her matte black stand that's, you know, it's a stand, I guess. It's not really our favorite because it's like the groin stand. It's kind of hard to position them on. 
thank you for joining us for our review of Erin Solston. Solston. Um, make sure to let us know what you think of her in the comments. Mm -hmm. uh, and if you have checked out any other ones in this line of the Heirloom collection, let us know which one is your favorite and if you got any. There's definitely um, much more coming out next year and we're hoping to join the club, the W Club, which is their <laughs> uh, their um, their exclusive you know, club where you get like early access, exclusive dolls, deals, and stuff like that. Um, so, if you're interested in doing that, yeah, just check it out. I think, I think, I think like they start registration in like January or February. Um, so yeah, um, that has been our review of Aaron Solston of the Heirloom Collection. Bye. Bye. Oh, happy new year. We don't happy get a video. New year. <laughs>